To get started, be sure that you are logged into your free canva.com account. And I know I'm logged in because when I look up here at the far right corner, I see my initials. Okay, from this page, click on videos in the toolbar at the top. This will present you with several different types of videos you can create. Click on the video option, just plain video. Now let me orient you to what you see here. Down below you're going to see uh, the track of your video, the, the visual and audio track. This is like a, a um, track that will evolve as we start to, to build the video. So that's what's happening down here. It has started us with one clip and I, I've clicked on that clip, C-L-I-P. When you click on a clip, it shows the clip up here in the canvas. Okay, so this is the canvas area where we will be refining the clips that will show in the timeline at the bottom of the screen. Over here on the left side is our template gallery that has a whole bunch of videos that we can use as templates. So we're going to dig into this whole area here and um, explore this far left toolbar as well, which is where we will toggle between the design that we're working on. The design gets us to our canvas. We'll talk a little bit about elements and text and uploads as well. Projects will take you back to all the projects that you've created in Canva. Okay, so I'm going to start by looking for a template. As you look for a template that you want to use, be mindful that many of the templates have the pro icon in the lower right corner that looks like a little golden crown. Those templates are only available if you have a pro or upgraded Canva account. So assuming your account is free, you'll want to look for templates that don't have that icon. I'm going to show you a couple templates. First, I'm going to click on this one in the upper left corner and show you that this template has one clip in it. Okay. Good to know. Maybe you're making a short video and you just want one clip. If I go back over to the left and now I'm going to have to click that arrow in the upper left corner because Canva has this lovely way of just showing you other templates that look like the one you selected. So that can be helpful. But if you want to go back to where we just were, which is what I want to do, I'm going to click that arrow in the top left corner and just click on a different template. So I'm going to click on the one below the first one and that's going to, it doesn't replace it yet. Okay. But it's going to show me what's inside that template here. And you can see that this one actually has five pages or clips. And I think that's going to work better for the video I'm creating. So I'm going to click on apply all five pages, that button. And you'll see that it replaces that old template with the new one. And you'll also see down in the timeline, we now have five clips that are from that template. So I'm going to click on this play button here and there's a couple different ways you can, you can drag this horizontal cursor line across and see how the video plays. Or we can go back to the beginning and just click this play button and check it out. Pretty cool video, but doesn't look anything like the video I want to make, at least the content doesn't. So we're going to turn it into something that will work for my needs. I have my handy dandy storyboard next to me printed out. It's something I'm just going to be referencing because it's my plan for what I'm going to create with my video. So you'll see that I have those those five slides, right, or clips. My first one's a title slide, and then I'm going to 
I'm thinking about having a background with some students. This is what I plan to say. Okay, so I'm referencing that as we go, just FYI. On my title slide, I'm going to click in the text box and change the text. I can click and drag that text higher if I want to, and I can also adjust the size up here in the top toolbar by clicking on that minus sign next to the size of the font. And here's a super cool tip. If you just press T on your keyboard, I'm going to do that right now and watch what happens. The letter T. Text pops up. So I can click with my mouse and drag that down. I'm just going to change this a student. We can also change the color of the font up at the top. I'm going to leave this the way it is. So my, my text looks good, but I don't think that video is going to work for me in the background. So what I'm going to do is click on it so it's selected. There's a purple frame around it. That's how you know when something's selected. And I'm just going to click delete on my keyboard. So now that video is gone and I get to pick a new one. So here's what we're going to do. Over on the left side, far left column, toggle over to elements. Now we're in a totally new area. This is where we can search for content that we want to use in our video. And I am going to search for, I'm just going to type the word texture and see what comes up. Now it's asking me, what do you want to search for? All graphics, photos, videos. I'm going to click, click on videos and see what I find here. So again, I don't want something that has pro in the lower right corner. I did change my search to dark texture because I'm thinking I have light text, so it would be easier if I found something dark. So let's try this one. I just clicked on that video and it popped up over here in the canvas. I'm going to click the upper left corner of the video on the dot and just drag it so it fills the canvas and then do the same thing on the lower right corner. Okay, so now let's see what my video looks like. Okay, so there's my title slide. You'll see that it made my first clip really long, right? That's because I picked a long video. It doesn't mean I have to keep it that long. I don't want my title slide to play for more than a few seconds, so I'm going to go to the far right of that clip in the timeline. I'm going to click on the edge of it and then just drag it to shorten it out. And that's just a little bit of a trial and error. You can see that it's telling me how long that clip is as I drag it. So right now it's at 55 seconds. That's still way too long. I just want my title slide to play for, I'm going to say three seconds. So let's see how that looks now. Okay, so now we're moving on to the second clip. I'm going to keep working on this, folks by looking at my storyboard and I'm going to say my student's name is Carla that I interviewed. I'm going to delete that video again simply by clicking on it, deleting it. I'm going to search for another new one just like I did before. Okay, that works. I'm going to leave the clip length as it is and just go to the next clip and think about what I want to say on this slide. Take that video out. And for this one, I think I'm just going to leave text on this one and move it up to the middle here. Go on to my next clip. So I've edited my text. I'm going to click on that video below and delete it or just click on that trash icon. 
Now here's where I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's say there's no video that I can find. I don't like any of the videos. I can go over to another site called pexels.com, toggle the search over to videos, and search for my keywords. All the videos and photographs on pexels.com have been shared by their creators with an open license, which means you can reuse them without permission. Attributing the creator is considered good etiquette. And if you find a video you want, you click download in the lower right corner of the video. It's going to give you the name of the person. Now what I do is I like to copy that and include it in the description of my video or on an ending slide. So on my computer, I just basically keep a note of that information. I'm going to put that aside for now. There's also an option here to give the person a donation for sharing their content freely. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over to the tab that I have Canva open in. Check this out folks. So now we're in the elements area on the left. I'm going to go over to uploads, select upload files, upload that video that I just downloaded. And once it's loaded here, I can click on it and it's going to pop up in my canvas area. Isn't that cool? So now we've got that clip done. So I'll go on to the last clip. add my text. I'm going to delete that video again. Now I'm going to need to go back to elements all the way over on the left to search for video. Drag my video so it fits. Now, I think based on that video I picked, I'm just going to change this text around so it's more readable, right? Because we're going for that really strong contrast. I like the way that looks. And now I have my five clips done. Three, four, five. All right. We're done with this step, so um, the next thing I'm going to show you in the next video is how to add your audio track to your video.